Hi everyone, you might have seen some video tutorials on this channel about how to use Google Site. In this video, I will show you 10 hidden hacks you haven't seen before, plus I will also share some free HTML code you can use on your website, landing pages, sales funnels, build with new Google Site. So you're talking about hacking my hacking device? Tip number one, replace your header with the slider. So currently on Google Sites, I have just opened one of the project templates. You have the header section right here. You are not able to upload videos directly, but what you can do is just get rid of this entire section, delete header, then come on the insert element, scroll down to the image carousel, then add your images by selecting your images from your computer. Let's say I want to use these shoe images. Insert them, you can set up right here, auto start, so your slider will play as soon as your page is loaded, and then you can put transition speed. I like fast, so images are changing quite fast. You can show dot. So anyone who sees this slider will know there are more images coming and you can also show captions. Now click on insert and that's your slider. You can then adjust it across the entire page. And once your page is live published and website is loaded, you will have slider on the top of your page, just in the place where they used to was a header. So let's publish and preview how it look like. Okay, so you can see you now had a slider on the top of your homepage. Tip number one, inserting image as a background without any borders. Now let's say you want to insert some image right here. So you can double click and upload your image from your computer. Now your image will look like this. You can of course position it. Now if we put it like that, and even if we stretch it across, you will still see the borders around. To avoid that and this Play your image across the entire page. First, come and drop empty text layer, double click, click on the text, you have a blank text layer, hit enter a couple of times, and then and go change your background for this section. So this text obviously will not be displaying because there are no text. However, if you click enter or backspace, you can reduce or increase the display of your image and now it's displaying across the entire page without any borders. Tip number three, adding videos on your header. So as you can see, you can add a slider on your header. Now you can actually upload a video file, but you can upload GIF file to give your header some motion. So if we come here and add back our header, then we change image by uploading file from our computer. So I have saved some a GIF file right here, which is just some little color doing exercises. Now you can delete the text if you don't want to use it and off the readability adjustment if you want to see the full video. And that's how you can set up and add some motion for your headers on Google site. Tip number four, use and take full advantage of embed feature on Google site. So if you click on embed, you can embed by URL, you can embed YouTube videos, for example, and if you click on embed code, you are able to embed any code on Google site. If you click next, you will see then preview. And if you click on insert, we can again, of course, adjust this element as with all other elements on Google site. And then if we go ahead and publish it again to preview the changes we have done, I will show you how this element will be displaying on your page. And I will share this code with you just before the end of this video. So as you can see, Google sites don't have feature of setting up Hoover effects. You can achieve that by using custom HTML code. And I will share this code with you in just a second. Now let's head back and tip number five is to hide footer. Now, if you have set up footer on your page, so here there are just some template of the footer. And then if you come on your pages, select any of the page you don't want your footer to be showing, scroll down and then click on this icon right here and your footer will be hidden only on this particular page. Tip number six is to use custom teams. Custom teams allows you to set up your own brand colors that you wish to or design any colors your client needs or just design a unique color based website. And if you are struggling picking up the colors and creating color schemes, you can always come to this website called colors.com 
Co and every time you click the spacebar it will generate you new color palettes you can use with the matching themes and then all you have to do is just copy this hack code and then come back on Google Sites and you can come on the custom colors and set the color codes right here. Click on next and apply it on your theme. Tip number seven, use announcement banner to insert call to action. So if you come up here on the settings, then scroll down to announcement banner, you have to enable it right here. Then you can also choose the banner color. I would like to be a red. You enter your message. Let's say we're gonna say winter sale 50% off then we can button the label as shop now and insert the link you can use external link or just link it to one of your pages and then you can also set up this announcement banner to be opened in a new tab and be displayed on the home page only on all other pages once you're done simply exit from this tab and your announcement banner will be right here tip number eight to link external pages now if you come on the page right here you can always add more pages but you can also add new link so if you have external link let's say to the shop maybe you have your goods on uh, there are options how to set up payment on Google sites and we have done plenty videos about it now if you would like to just link it to some other page you can always insert this link now let me just place some random link and then call it as design and then you can click on done again you can leave it to open in a new tab so your website remains open so it will create a new link right here on the navigation these are all the pages you have done and this is external page so if we preview and look how it looks like if you click on the design it will redirect you to the canva.com canva.com is a great site you can use to design your google sites get all sorts of elements free stock media videos background files graphics and so on and i I will leave the link in the description if you would like to try out canvas a pro version and assess all the pro premium elements from it tip number nine is to preview your site before publishing it so you don't have to every time go and publish and then view what you have done you can come on this tab right here called preview if you click on it it will show you how your site looks on the large screens like that if how it looks on the tablets as well and how it would look on the mobile phone so as you can see google sites are fully responsive and you can always come and check your designs here before you publish and then preview your changes so to exit this you just simply click here and exit preview tip number nine is to set up your custom domain so if you come on the settings right here and come on a custom domain start a setup and you can start setting up domain you have purchased from the third party or you can purchase one from google now if you already have a third party domain we have done entire video about it all the tutorial in details how you can set up your custom domain so i will leave the link in the description below but that's something you should definitely consider doing if you are serious about making money online so your site url won't display default google sites within it now as promised i will share some html codes you can use on your google site now to assess codes all you have to do is to head to landing.meritmastering.com slash request dash code dash tutorial and then you will land on a page looking like this where you have to enter your email address and then if you come on this page you will see how you can download a uh, contact form subscribe forms some custom html design uh, buttons and including the product images i just uh, show you earlier there are also some social media icons and we are updating this page regularly so more codes are coming up uh, shortly Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, click that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, click subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And if you click the notification bell, you will be notified whenever we upload new videos and we do so every single week. Now go ahead and watch this video as the next one and I will see you there.